Hi, I'm Leslie Carey. I'm the RPAS program manager here at ICAO in Montreal. This is sort of an unusual conference for ICAO, as you mentioned. So what is the genesis of it? A couple years ago, we were asked here at ICAO to have a look into how to keep international manned flights safe from drones. Drones that were becoming more and more of a nuisance, hazard, outright danger for manned aircraft, particularly near international airports. So we put together a small group and that group developed guidance material that we have posted online on our UAS toolkit. The toolkit contains a lot of guidance information, particularly for regulators, but pertinent for anybody that's in, involved at all with drones or small unmanned aircraft. And then at our assembly last year, the member states of ICAO asked us to take this a lot further. They asked us to develop a baseline of provisions for the regulatory framework for small unmanned aircraft. And this is really outside the mandate of ICAO. This is really a domestic issue. But when all of the member states get together and say, we want your help with this, we reach out and say, OK, we will do so. But of course, we cannot do it in the traditional way, because that would be entirely inappropriate for this particular activity. For one thing, this, the growth is happening so fast. It's completely unlike manned aviation, where things take a lot of years to develop. New aircraft come out every 10 to 15 years. Now we're talking about every month or two. So the scale for us is very different. We therefore had to look at new processes on how to bring together the experts and share the information with that information in hand, then produce guidance material. So, so entirely new and different. You had an RFI for input earlier this year. Can you tell us more about that process? Yes, so once we had the green light to proceed with this whole activity, and that took a while, the Council of ICAO had to review the request from the Assembly, and once the Council endorsed the activity, then we had to sit down and think, okay, exactly what are we going to do? What can we do? What should we not do? And how to announce what that would be. So we developed a request for information for a specific problem statement. That problem statement is UAS traffic management, the concept and the general framework for it. And any UTM system is dependent upon certain elements. The registration. Registration then leads to identification and tracking of drones in the air. It also, we also need to have the communications platform through which all of the data is exchanged. How is the aircraft controlled in the airspace? <clears throat> How does it exchange information with other aircraft in the airspace? All of this needs a communications platform. And thirdly, geofencing, or something along those lines. Information that gets built in so that aircraft know where they can operate or they cannot operate, or the aircraft, the operator of that aircraft. So we put out the request for information asking anybody and everybody, whether it's states or industry, academia, any individual person that has a really good idea on how to solve these particular problems, put forward your solution in a 2,000 word or less document, which we had an international committee review the committee then had a very detailed survey that they had to do on each and every submission. 
we collected the results of those surveys and put the results back out to the committee. Based upon the results, we selected which submitters to come present at Drone Enable. So in a way, this was a much more, or the process was much more typical of an academic approach than a traditional ICAO approach. Going out to the world to say, you tell us how this should be accomplished, and then we will take the best proposals, put them back out to all of you to discuss, debate, educate. We will then, from Drone Enable, take the results of the discussion that happens here and formulate the way forward. This will be in the form of guidance material that we will again put out to the world. We will do that through our public website at ikeo.int. And then next year, we will have another Drone Enable where we will again have a new problem statement that will go out as an RFI, looking for submissions into the process. And we will keep repeating this until we are satisfied that we have enough material building layer upon layer and the world is happy with the results. Do you think it will be new topics at that point or more uh, granular approaches to some of the existing questions you're grappling with? It may well be a combination of those two. As our committee gets together over the coming weeks to analyze everything that they've heard this week, they will be able to tell us this is where we need more information and we'll also have a good idea of is there a, a next problem statement that really needs to be dealt with. It could focus on integration issues or we could go further into a detect and avoid solution or various other things. We don't know yet. There are a lot of possibilities and it'll be really interesting to see what we come up with. Thank you very much. You're welcome.